the JAMA Network. My name is Dr. Joseph Kiss. I'm the Medical Director of Blood Services at the Institute for Transfusion Medicine in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. In uh, previous studies, our group as well as others have shown a fairly high level of iron deficiency in blood donors. Blood donors can donate as often as every eight weeks. And uh, one of the unresolved questions is, should we tell donors to wait longer between donations and possibly affect the amount of blood that's available for transfusion to patients in hospitals, or is there a way to assist this process? Can we give them a low-dose tolerated iron supplement that would allow them to recover their iron stores, recover their hemoglobin, and participate in the donation process? The other question we addressed is, how long does it take to recover iron stores if you're a regular blood donor? And if you, again, take a low-dose iron supplement, how quickly will iron stores recover? And that question has been estimated or uh, arrived at by estimation, but we wanted to show that in a clinical uh, research study. We enrolled uh, 215 blood donors. Uh, they included men, women, younger, older, age 18 or older. And we checked their ferritin levels and uh, divided them into two groups. A group that we believed were iron deficient, which is a ferritin less than 26, and a group that we uh, deemed iron replete on the basis of previous studies in blood donors, a group with a ferritin greater than 26. We then took those two groups and randomized them to take a low-dose iron supplement consisting of ferrous gluconate, 37.5 milligrams a day, for the entire 24 weeks of the study or not. We then checked their hemoglobin and ferritin levels periodically during the study out to 24 weeks to determine uh, the recovery of hemoglobin and ferritin. Compared to the group that did not take iron, the iron takers recovered very rapidly, their hemoglobin levels that is, recovered very rapidly after the don donating 500 ml of blood uh, in about four weeks. The group that was uh, iron deficient took almost the entire 24 weeks, about 23 weeks, to recover their hemoglobin back to their baseline. Uh, and the group that was not iron deficient uh, recovered somewhere in between at about 11 weeks. We also looked at the recovery of ferritin and found that the group that was not taking iron recovered ferritin very late. Two-thirds of the group had not recovered the iron they lost during the donation uh, by the end of the uh, uh, follow-up period of 24 weeks. Uh, and it took about 11 weeks, so a little longer than the minimum eight-week donation required period for donors to recover their iron levels if they took iron. Blood donors in the group that with uh, ferritin of 50 or less re uniformly recovered faster in their hemoglobin levels, and the group higher than 50 did not seem to benefit from the iron supplementation. Not only did we show that hemoglobin recovery was uh, improved, but we showed that the, the groups that benefited were at a level of ferritin that were a bit higher than we would have thought or would have expected from our uh, uh, study analysis design. In the 10 minutes it takes to donate a unit of blood, you lose approximately uh, 200 or 230 milligrams of iron. If you're not taking iron, it takes really the 24 weeks or longer to recover the iron lost. Waiting longer, even out to 12 or 16 weeks, as some have suggested, you're still not going to recover the iron levels to back to where you need if you're going to be a regular blood donor. Iron improves the uh, recovery period, re re uh, replenishes the iron lost in donation, and we found that a period of about eight or so weeks after blood donation uh, was uh, adequate, we think, for recovery of iron and recovery of hemoglobin levels after donating blood. We would like to emphasize that this is a research study and has not uh, received the kind of attention it needs for full implementation by blood centers. Uh, this will be really introductory information to many blood donors because the idea in most people's uh, 
uh, mind is that hemoglobin is an adequate measure for donating blood. Our study has shown that many donors are iron deficient and can have adequate hemoglobin levels. So this is uh, engendering uh, new thoughts about should we check ferritin levels, and we're not quite prepared as blood centers to do this. But again, we want to emphasize that uh, the full implementation of this still needs uh, some further thought. There will be additional studies coming out, for example, comparing uh, groups of donors who are given ferritin values versus taking iron, and there will be more uh, in terms of the logistics of uh, how to implement uh, iron supplementation in blood donors uh, coming out in the near future.